Hey guys, um, if you're wanting any historical uh, reference points looking at you guys who are watching this in any future years or months where you know you're not in the midst of a viral outbreak of how people are going mental in the midst of the coronavirus, I'm uh, resorted to sitting outside in my pajamas <laughs> because I'm tired of being in all day. Don't worry, you know, just to avoid spreading infection. I haven't gone anywhere else. I just, I need the fresh air because otherwise, you know the term cabin fever? Yeah, I'm getting it hard. <laughs> it's scary right now. Um, when I started this project this year, I thought, you know, I'd have my ups and downs, but you know, it'd be it'd be kind of cool just to kind of, you know, see a year just just go by again and see how things change. But I never expected a worldwide global pandemic to kind of just pop out of nowhere <laughs> at this point in time. It might change, um, and I hope to God it changes, but. Whatever, in for the long haul, right? Um, right now, we are supposedly going to be facing about 12 weeks socially isolated, more or less than that. Possibly, and this is a very likely possibly even more. Um, and as somebody who copes a lot with my own problems by just getting out there and and kind of just getting a bit of my own space, this is like mental. <laughs> I guess I'm just making this video for anybody who's feeling the same uh, to basically just say, you know, wherever you are, if your country is hit by the coronavirus, do what the fucking government says. No matter how much they've been pricks in the past, they've got a point here. Um, but you're not alone in finding this utterly shit. Be safe. Even though you're keeping yourself isolated, stay in contact with your loved ones and just... Yeah, just let them know that you love them. Wherever they are. And wash your damn hands. <laughs>